My best friend has a crush on my husband. I've been friends with my best friend, both F24, since high school. We were long distance friends for a long time after, so she's only recently gotten to meet my husband. She's back in town riding out the pandemic since it hasn't really hit where we are. I noticed he'd avoid her when she came over. I figured he just didn't like her much. The other day I tried to get him to spend some time with us but I noticed quickly he was anxious to leave and she was being weird. I asked her jokingly if there's anything I should know and she joked back that she was in love with him. I laughed made a joke about it being ridiculous, and she said it's not that ridiculous and admitted she had a bit of a crush on him. She was adamant that he didn't know and nothing had or ever will happen. I wasn't bothered that she has a little crush on him but I was annoyed that she hadn't told me. I brought it up to him and figured out that he already knew. He said he had a feeling but didn't want to tell me because if he was wrong, it could have created a rift in my friendship for no reason. He also said he could tell I enjoyed having her back around and thought if he wasn't interested in her, and I didn't know she was into him, then no harm, no foul. Just like I was with her, I was annoyed with him for not having said something. I'm pretty bad about recognizing when something is a red flag and my only other relationship ended when he got my other friend pregnant, so I know I'm also paranoid even when I have no reason to be. I struggle with over and under reacting. So my question is, are there red flags I'm missing here? I want to leave it alone but I keep thinking what if. Do I leave it alone or probe a little more? What do I even ask if probe more? BTW, just so you can understand where I'm coming from. My mom was in your exact situation 20 years ago with a friend she had had since she was 9, and she decided to be nice, and keep that friend. Till she came home one day, and saw my dad throwing her naked best friend out of the living room. Apparently, she had been waiting there nude to seduce him. If my dad wasn't loyal, it wouldn't be a story we can laugh about now. They wouldn't even be together now. Your husband is also loyal but don't give room for certain situations. Sis, please, don't risk your marriage. Remove the weeds infesting your garden before they spread. I feel like your husband was trying not to ruin your friendship and good on him for trying to avoid her, but yes definitely don't take her to your house anymore, she had the big balls to tell you she was crushing on your husband disregarding entirely how you might feel. She seems very shady and that fact your husband picked up on it must be because of something she said slash was doing, I'd ask him what exactly made him get the vibe that she was into him and then you'll see if your friend tried to cross a line. I would keep her away tbh. Crush on someone's husband is never appropriate. He didn't do nothing wrong. Your poor husband. He has been suffering agonies wondering if he should say something about your selfish friend and risk hurting your friendship. For him to be that uncomfortable, she must be way out of line. I wonder if she didn't actually come onto him and is lying about it. Do not doubt your hubby, he is your champ here. Your friend is the one in the wrong. And if she can't grow up and learn some proper boundaries, I would unfriend her. She should not be allowed to come between you and your husband and cause any lack of trust. Exclamation mark. Husband handled this like an ace, don't worry about him. Your friend may not be the devil Reddit is making her out to be either, but it is a little concerning that at 24 she isn't capable of, or, more likely, willing to, immediately swallowing the little butterflies in a situation like this before they grow to the point of making themselves evident. I am 24 and I have been asking my parents to let me cut my hair for years. Maybe two months ago we got into a fight about the fact that I wanted to cut my hair short and we didn't talk for a week. I told her I'm 24 and I do not have to ask my mom for her permission to cut my hair. What should I do? So I started cutting my hair slowly and the back is way shorter than my front and I'm gonna finally get caught. She got extremely angry at me for even mentioning it saying that I'm only doing it to bother her and irritate her. I can't do anything to my body without her say so. I know that I'm old enough to do what I want but I am financially supported by my dad and I live with them due to the fact that I'm in college about to graduate. My hair is pretty curly so it will probably become very puffy and big and my mom doesn't like curly hair. My parents still think they can control my life and my body and I'm sick of it. 
My parents still think they can control my life. Then stop letting them control your life. Stop asking for permission. Just do it. They pay for school and housing. It's not that I want to it's just I fear my mother's wrath. The cost of living with your parents is keeping yourself under their thumbs. Is that really worth it to you? How can you become financially independent? Live with a bunch of roommates. Get more scholarships. Go to school part-time so you can work part-time. Side hustles. Suck it up until you graduate and get a job. You know what you need to do. Get financially independent. Move out. Cut your hair. Set boundaries with your parents probably going low to no contact with them. I'm trying to find work and or internships before I graduate. I only have one more semester to pay before I graduate. I have a scholarship that belongs to my dad for graduate school that would pay most of it off and I'm afraid of losing that. I don't want to live under their thumb I don't but this last year is my final year and I need to have the time to work and prepare for my thesis and if I work at the same time I wouldn't be able to complete it. I am looking for ads but right now this is my best option. Cut your goddamn hair. You're an adult who can drink. It's your decision. You're an adult. Cut your hair. My mom used to shave my head every summer and now I'm letting it flow purely out of protest and I like having longer hair. At the end of the day it's your hair. If you want to cut it, cut it. Your mom sounds fucked in the head tbh. Why is she so controlling over your hair? Is she that opinionated regarding other things? Whatever you want and tell your mom to get over herself. Save and work so you can move out ASAP. She pretty much controls what everything or gets upset at me and says I'm being disrespectful towards her. She's opinionated over what I wear, my hair, my shoes, when I don't agree with her. I'm looking for work and internships at the moment. And I got accepted into university in Australia but due to COVID I don't know if I will be able to get here in August so I applied stateside but I'm doing everything I can to get out. I just have this massive fear of her. My, 34F, parents, 64F slash 71M, have been giving me the silent treatment for 7 days after I informed them that my fiancé, 35M, and I filled out our marriage certificate pre-wedding ceremony. Last week I informed my parents via a picture and a phone call, we live in separate cities, that my fiancé and I had filled out our marriage certificate and I had started the process of changing my name one month prior to our wedding. I had previously told them that my fiancé and I would be doing this around this time in order to get the ball rolling on immigration documents. We also had told them that the paperwork was somewhat meaningless and that we consider the ceremony to be the start of our married life. When I spoke to my parents on that fateful day, they screamed and carried on and then sent text messages calling us immature saying we did not value the sanctity of marriage, and expressing aggravation over the fact that we did not inform them prior to filling out the paperwork. This last part I can understand, so my fiancé and I did both apologize for that oversight and Elle expressed our regret at not calling them that morning. My parents have never considered themselves to be traditionalists. They are not religious and are politically liberal. They also are firmly opposed to me basing my decisions on other people's opinions. We are not the type of family to really celebrate major events. They both did not participate in my graduations from grad school, and they did not in any way celebrate our engagement. When they found out we were engaged they only suggested where we should be married and my mother sent a couple of dress recommendations. We are, surprisingly, still in some ways a close family. I used to talk to my parents often. But prior to last month I hadn't seen them since last December. This wasn't originally due to Covid but because they traveled to Florida during the winter and hadn't invited me to join. Because of Covid, this wedding is not much of a wedding in the traditional sense. It involves only my parents, sister, and a family friend who is allowing us to use his house for the ceremony. All other celebrations are postponed until a successful vaccine becomes readily available and popular. That being said, their reaction came as a big shock to both of us. I assumed based on what they said they would need a couple of days to calm down, but 7 seems excessive. I have tried to reach out to no avail. Any suggestions on what I can do? TL, doctor, parents are ignoring my fiancé and I because we went ahead with wedding preparations without their knowledge or approval. Edit, for those who have been asking, after filling out the paperwork we submitted it. In our city you can self-officiate.
I don't have a clue why they are upset. It's paperwork. I'd tell them that you didn't know that they were religious and traditionalists and that they didn't raise you to be that way. That they raised you to not make your decision on other people's opinions and so you will be making your own decision without basing it on their opinions. That they raised you to be your own person and value your own morals. So you will be the person they raised you to be. So true story, my brother actually forgot to get his marriage certificate before the wedding, and didn't figure it out until the morning of. The officiant and I lived in a different city, and when they finally got everything, we all committed some kind of low-grade mail fraud to tie up the loose ends. I think y'all did the smart thing. Ha ha. Low-grade mail fraud. I needed this laugh smile. Oh how I wish my parents would give me the silent treatment and leave me the hell alone. First paragraph, second sentence. You did tell them ahead of time. And why is this such a big deal to your parents? Who cares? Do they not want you to get married?